in this lecture we'll discuss about apb protocol so this is the apb protocol spec or specification or data sheet like a manual okay i downloaded this from google this pdf or spec see here how many pages 28 pages I will explain all 28 pages from starting to ending. Okay. So this is the first page. See the title AMBA APB protocol. AMBA full form is Advanced Microcontroller Bus Architecture. APB means Advanced Peripheral Bus. Okay. So this AMBA is like a family this APB is like a family member in this family AMBA family there are some other members like APB like uh, AXI AHB ASB again in this APB AHB ASB or AXI there are some other versions or revisions again sub family members like that okay right we will discuss about the samba later in some other lecture in this lecture we'll mainly concentrate on app okay here you can see version 2.0 version or revision it means the spec is app version 2.0 it means there are some other previous old versions like version 1.0 okay so version 2.0 is also called APB4 so the spec is APB4 or APB version 2.0 okay na right so I will tell you why it is called protocol okay when we go to further pages I will tell you so we'll go slowly one by one because I want to explain this APB very detailed slowly because this is the basic protocol this is the basic project if you understand this well you can do remaining protocols or projects very well industry standard protocols okay so this is also industry standard uh, project or protocol <coughs> okay and I will do some other lecture separate lecture what is protocol how many protocols are there why protocols that also I will do later okay this lecture only particularly APB <coughs> no other topics okay so this is nothing just uh, scrolling whatever important I will explain that only okay na? <coughs> and if I miss any point after uploading this lecture I will listen this lecture if I miss any important point I will do another short lecture and I will upload okay right okay this is the syllabus <coughs> so we'll see in this syllabus what we are going to do what we are going to discuss introduction about signals APB signals or ports and transfers because in this APB protocol we do communication data sending and receiving writing and reading those are nothing but transfers about that also we'll discuss and operating states state means you should remember you should remind the word state mission okay so we will discuss the state mission of this APB okay these are all things we'll discuss in this lecture okay see here in this uh, protocol there are timing diagrams like uh, waveforms <coughs> this timing diagrams indicates the functionality or working or behavior of this APB protocol how it works 
but if you want to understand the timing diagram you have to follow some conventions okay or representations see these are the conventions that are used in timing diagram so this is scalar signal clock signal high low so this is also scalar but here when there is a transition from high to low it is indicated like that so when you see this kind of representation in time timing diagram you have to understand this is high to low this is scalar only not bus this is called transient okay now here there are two meanings see high to high low to high this is high this is high high to high this is low this is high low to high so this signal indicating both meanings this is also scalar or this is also scalar now this is vector this line this line together one signal so it is a bus vector signal not scalar or single bit it's a multi bit signal so if you see like this this is called stable bus this is like empty stable bus okay right now this stable bus then you can see one single line so stable bus to high impedance the single line is called a high impedance stable bus to high impedance now this is called bus change see stable bus stable bus but there is a change in this so this is called bus change now see single line like here high impedance high impedance now here stable bus so high impedance to stable bus so these are the representations <coughs> even you don't understand this no problem i will explain you timing diagrams very clearly okay and one important point here you have to know sometimes uh, the signal what i told this is bus vector but uh, in timing diagram sometimes scalars also they representing with uh, this kind of representation so that is scalar at the same time they maintaining high at the same time they maintaining low so that it is looking like a bus or vector okay so this may may be bus or this may not bus how we know so here whatever the signals available in apb there is a clear mentioning which one is scalar which one is vector so that na signal names also there if that signal name vector scalar signal name looking like this this is not a bus this is a scalar only but at the same time they represented high and low okay if they represented high and low at the same time this will be co not consider this is not considerable okay so here the point is if you see this kind of representation to any scalar this is not a bus this is not considerable okay remember that i will show that in no timing diagram <coughs> okay and again there are some signals in this apb protocol <coughs> so those signals uh, uh, with that signals we can know uh, observe two points like asserted unasserted like that are not asserted okay and signals can be high level signal low level signal so with respect to high level signal asserted means if you apply one it is asserted suppose if it is a low active low signal low level means active low signal asserted means when you apply zero that is asserted so for active high when you apply one that is asserted for active low when you apply zero that is asserted in else case unasserted <coughs> for both okay right and uh, in some signals you can see this uh, n before that signal or after that signal this n indicating negage or active low so here out of all apb signal one signal is there that is called reset we use active low reset so with reset you can see this one 
okay so why they using active low reset because this reset signal is equivalent to system bus signal okay that's the reason but clock we are using uh, positive wedge clock okay right because uh, because of peripheral okay we are using uh, post wedge clock because of the peripherals connected to this apb protocol <coughs> okay right okay before going to this uh, i will tell about versions or revisions so first uh, version in apb is just to uh, apb2 apb2 that is also called amba2 okay so in apb2 and uh, uh, nothing but amba2 there are only eight signals in this spec uh, this is apb4 i told na in this spec totally 12 signals but in uh, starting apb2 there are only eight signals then after apb2 apb3 came then apb4 came in apb3 we added two signals and in apb4 added another two more signals total became 12 signals so in apb2 there are only eight signals so with eight signals apb that is called apb2 that is not a revision one just apb2 amba2 there is no revision name to that then amba 3 or apb 3 that is called revision 1 or version 1.0 it contain 10 signals so 10 signals apb is called apb 3 or version 1 then two more signals added to this uh, version 1 that became version 2 nothing but amba just amba nothing but apb 4 okay so apb2 8 signals apb3 10 signals this is nothing but version 1 and version 2 nothing but apb4 it contain 12 signals okay so now the latest is apb4 or version 2 12 signals so that spec only we are discussing now okay so now this apb protocol is a low power protocol low complex and low cost protocol it is used for low performance applications okay for example so we connect peripherals to our system okay so that uh, connection may happen between that peripheral to that system on chip suppose i connected a keyboard to my system you know when you pressing key one key only 8 bits going to the system so to communicate 8 bits you no need much performance so in that kind of low performance or low speed applications we use this uh, apb protocol okay so now and uh, you know this i told you, along with this apb there are some other protocols this uh, apb protocol is compatible with ahb ahb light axi axi light axi 4 light here observe this is axi this is axi 4 light with these uh, protocols also we can connect we can interface okay right <coughs> when we interfacing we use bridge protocol between this uh, this protocols and apb okay see here in version 1 or apb3 these two signals added what are the signals added p ready p slave error in apb4 or version 2 these two signals p prod p strobe 
so now in this spec what you have to know mainly about signals and about timing diagrams and state diagram these three things you have to know okay first we'll discuss about signals okay before going to signals i would like to give some uh, idea what is this protocol where we are using you may confuse okay so suppose uh, let us take this diagram this is peripheral you are connecting something like uh, some keyboard or memory card or pen drive okay something you are connecting here that is called peripheral so uh, this is system on chip this chip where it is existed in my system computer it is existed system on chip so this again this system on chip contain different sub blocks so this is one sub block this is another sub block this is master this is slave okay so when you connect that peripheral to the system that will connect to the peripheral to system on chip connection it will connect through peripheral protocol suppose if this peripheral is a keyboard this will become keyboard protocol if it is a memory card or pen drive if it is a pen drive it will become usb protocol okay right so peripheral and peripheral protocol this peripheral protocol connecting this peripheral and this is this is slave this slave is nothing but controller this is called peripheral controller peripheral peripheral protocol peripheral controller this controller or slave is connecting to the master through apb protocol so this apb protocol where it existed inside the chip that's why apb is called on chip protocol this protocol is not inside the chip this is called off chip or peripheral communication protocol in apb the word peripheral is there it doesn't mean it is a peripheral protocol it is a on chip protocol it is connecting the peripherals in that sense it is a peripheral protocol but it is a on chip protocol what is meant by on chip protocol the protocol connects the block blocks inside the chip is called a on chip protocol so this apb is a on chip protocol okay you know sometimes to your system you may connect to so many peripherals like uh, see here i am connecting mouse or keyboard some pen drive so many other things you are connecting so there can be so many peripherals so you need to connect to the system in that case this peripheral need peripheral protocol this peripheral also need peripheral protocol this peripheral also need peripheral protocol this all protocols will connect to controller so you may, you need how many peripherals are there that many controllers peripheral controllers are that many slaves okay so in the previous case there is only one master and one slave so you need only one direct connection apb protocol direct connection but here when there are multiple slaves you cannot connect directly you need some other component that is called interconnect this component will exist between master and multiple slaves okay so this all controllers will connect to interconnect that interconnect will connect to this master now this connection and these connections all are apb protocols okay right <coughs> okay now you got some clarity now we'll go to the signals see here what are the signals i told total 12 signals 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay 
so what are the signals there in apb2 that i will show this one 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 okay so this uh, slave error not there in first this one also not there this one also not there this one also not there except this four signals except p prot p strobe p ready p slave error except this four signals remaining eight signals there in apb2 okay in the first apb not version 1 version 1 is apb3 okay right if you observe these all signals the first letter character started with p so every signal in apb will start with the letter p will start with letter p this is nothing but apb middle letter p na that p in ahb also you can see every letter start with h middle letter but in axa not like that not x what is the reason i will tell when i go to that axi okay so this is nothing but a clock this is nothing but a reset this is nothing but address this is nothing but protection this is nothing but selection this is nothing but enable you know sometimes we can also call valid this is okay <coughs> this is called p right okay <coughs> so this is like uh, pw data nothing but write data this is nothing but strobe this is ready okay this valid and p enable and p ready these are for handshaking okay it's nothing but valid ready like that so pr data read data and this is nothing but error slave error <coughs> okay so i will explain one by one so first what we have to see here in this uh, protocol there are two components existed na? what is one is master that is also called bridge apb bridge one is slave that is also called slave interface <coughs> okay right so now out of who, that two components which signal generating which component generating these signals that we have to know so that we can know the direction which one is a input port which one is a output port so when we do coding we should know the list of the signals and we should know the direction of the signal which one is input which one is output and we should know the size of the signal whether it is a scalar or vector if it is a vector home what is the bit size width <coughs> so those details we should know so now i will give clarity so here clock to reset to write to enable p ready p select to p slave error these all are scalars p address to pw data p read data p stroke p prot these all are vectors multi bit signals here i given size also address 32 bit pw data 32 bit if write data 32 bit read also 32 bit okay this p strobe is a 4 bit signal and this p prot is a 3 bit signal so i given sizes also it means in the coding this signal how to write 0 down to 2 okay or 2 down to 0 like that okay right so now we understood which one are scalars and which one are vectors and the size of the vectors also okay now we'll see the directions directions so here i take in apb master here i take in slave okay always remember in any project or in any protocol not only this one clock and reset always input ports remember that they always connect to master okay so here i given clock and reset i told this is post in apb we use post which clock and negage reset okay so this reset is directly connect to our system bus okay this p clock clock is coming from clock generator you know there is a clock generator in physical 
hardware nothing but pll okay crystal oscillator something from that this pin is connected to that there is a system bus in our system computer that bus contain our reset signal that to that signal to that port we connect this one okay the reason to use pause to clockage is because of peripheral whatever the peripherals we are connecting to our apb that's the reason the reason to use negage because of system bus okay so now the communication will happen between this master and slave right now between this master and slave whatever connections all connections we are seeing showing now these all connections together is nothing but one protocol that is nothing but apb protocol so this apb protocol consists many signals group of signals group of signals right group of signals is called bus okay right <coughs> now the first signal suppose here first uh, if this uh, how communication will happen I, i will show in this diagram suppose i connected some um, pen drive here okay generally pen drive means you need a usb protocol if you connect usb protocol you need a axi to get high performance but here i am taking example uh, pen drive okay let us assume okay when i connect a pen drive what i will do i may need to send this uh, data of pen drive to the my system or i want to copy some data existed in my system to my pen drive so data may go from pen drive to system or data may need to take from system to pen drive okay so when you want to send data the data from this uh, peripheral will go to controller from the controller or slave it will go to master so when data going from slave to master this is called reading because master is taking the data it is reading the data from the slave so this is called read transfer or read transaction this is nothing but data going here is called read data okay suppose when i want to take some data from my system to this pen drive from this master to data will go to slave from the slave to peripheral it will go so in this case master is giving the data this is called when master giving the data to slave this is called writing write transfer or write transaction okay here we use pw data p write data when we reading pr data p read data okay now this is the communication now there are two words i used transaction and transfer suppose if you take bank bank transactions when you send money from one account to another account or within the account that is called transfer that is also called transaction but all transactions are not transfers suppose along with uh, this money transfers you may do so many other things with bank no those all are not transfers okay all transfers are transactions all transactions are not transfers okay here i will give you clarity with respect to this apb what is transfer what is transaction <coughs> this write data transfer nothing but write transaction this read data transfer nothing but read transaction okay so here along with this data transactions or data signals there are some other signals na those are called control signals you are sending you are selecting the slave and you are <coughs> using p write signal and handshaking signals before sending data reading writing you should know the readiness okay those kind of uh, activities are called control actions those control actions are not transfers they are transactions but they are not transfers okay but this uh, data actions are transfers and transactions also <coughs> okay na no? right so now this is master this is slave 
सो ट्रांसक्षन आर् ट्रांसफर्स रीडिंग आर रईटिंग आर् ऐक्सिंग रीड ऐक्स आर रईट ऐक्स हैपनिंग बिटवी दीज टू एलिमेंट्स आर् कांपोने ओके सो हियर हाउ विल हैपन सपोज ई हव टू सेलेक्ट सम स्लीव सपोज हियर ओनली वन स्लीव ऐम शोइंग देर कैन बी मल्टीपल स्लीव ई नीड टू सो वेदर ई वॉन्ट टू सेंड डेटा टू स्लेव वन आर स्लेव टू आर दि स्लेव आर दट स्लेव ई हव टू सेलेक्ट द स्लेव ना बिफोर सेंडिंग टू डेटा देर शुड बी समथिंग टू सेंड द डेटा ना सो यू हव टू सेलेक्ट द स्लेव सो दि सेलेक्शन इज हैपनिंग फ्रॉम मास्टर टू स्लेव मास्टर इज सेलेक्टिंग सो पी ई सेलेक्ट इज ए आउटपुट सिग्नल आउटपुट सिग्नल मीन्स इफ द सिग्नल डायरेक्शन आउट वार्ड टू मास्टर दट इज कॉल्ड आउटपुट सिग्नल इफ द सिग्नल डायरेक्शन इन वार्ड टू मास्टर दट इज कॉल्ड इनपुट सिग्नल आर इनपुट पोर्ट सो पी ई सेलेक्ट इज ए आउटपुट सिग्नल सी हियर वेर आई गिवन पी सेलेक्ट इट इज गोइंग फ्रॉम मास्टर टू स्लिप देन राइट सिग्नल यू विल डू राइट ऑपरेशन फ्रॉम मास्टर टू स्लिव ना सो ओके दिस राइट इज नॉट ए राइट डेटा दिस राइट इज टेलिंग वेदर राइट एक्सेस इज हैपनिंग और रीड एक्सेस इज हैपनिंग ओके ना बिकॉज हियर वी कैन नॉट डू राइट एंड रीड एट ए टाइम इट्स लाइक ए सिंगल पोर्ट रैम प्रोजेक्ट आई टोल ना ओके लाइक दैट सो वी शू एट वन टाइम इट कैन डू ओनली राइट और एट वन टाइम इट कैन डू ओनली रीड सो वेदर इट इज डूइंग राइट आर रीड वी कैन नो बाय दिस पी राइट सिग्नल सो दिस पी राइट आलसो विल जनरेट बाय मास्टर दिस इज आलसो आउटपुट सिग्नल ओके नाउ पी एनेबल सो दिस पी एनेबल इज हैंड शेकिंग सिग्नल सो बिफोर टेकिंग डेटा आर सेंडिंग डेटा वेदर दिस स्लेव इज रेडी आर नॉट सो टू रिक्वेस्ट टू सेंड द रिक्वेस्ट वी यूज पी एनेबल दिस रिक्वेस्ट आलसो even for writing and reading suppose master will ask a uh, slave i want to send some data to you are you ready this is called write suppose when master want to take the data it will ask the master uh, slave are you ready to give me the data this is called read so for that to requesting whether it is ready or not to request that master will send the data to the slave that is called p enable or p valid like that okay then p address so when master want to send the data to the slave in the slave also there is a memory it will also contain addresses na so to which address it it want to write or when it want to take the data from which address it want to take the data that address also for reading and writing who giving master only giving so address also output port <coughs> okay now write data write will always happen from master to slave na so write also output port <coughs> now p ready so when master ask the slave are you ready or not who will respond slave will respond na so this ready yes i am ready it is responding i am ready to give you the data or ready to take data from you that is telling by slave so slave, uh, p ready is a input signal pr data read always happen from slave to master na so pr data is also input signal error who will give error always slave will give error slave will give error there are so many reasons for this error when that to whatever the slave you asked if that slave is not existed or if it is power down or if it is not working okay or if the transaction failed that status will indicate by slave only to the master so this is also p error also input signal and p stop what are the two signals remain p prot and p stop these are output signals <coughs> i will tell what is this p prot and what is p stop these two signals also output signals so out of this 12 signals more signals are output signals less signals are input signals so only three signals are input signals what are those ready response read reading and error 
error from sleep you can easily remember these three signals are p ready pr data p slave error these three are input ports in apb remaining and these two also clock and reset so total five signals are input out of 12 signals five are input ports remaining all are outputs clock and reset always input okay you no need to check whether master slave like that okay right and this address read data write data are vectors again the signal again this is group of signal this single line group of signals so this uh, group of signals of address bus is called this uh, group of signals of address is called address bus this group of signals of data is called data bus write data bus read data bus okay so i hope you understood now we'll go to the functionality of each signal what is the purpose of clock you know this apb is a synchronous sequential circuit because it is working with the clock edges if there is a clock this is a synchronous circuit if it is working with edges it is a synchronous sequential circuit so whatever activities or transactions we are telling na these all transactions will happen with respect to pass to clock edge so to give the synchronization or timing this clock is useful okay right now reset you know reset to bring the circuit to non state okay all right when you want to reset the signal so what we have to apply when you want to reset this apb you have to apply zero because act to high act to low reset na right now <coughs> p address 